Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android tutorial with Android Studio. So in this episode, we are going to learn about how to create a simple user interface and how to manage the user interface in Android. So now in this episode, we are going to create a user interface similar to this one. So this contains two user interfaces. First one is an edit text and other is a button and the two view components are horizontally aligned the edit text on the left side and the button on the right side also here there is a hint available with the edit text a hint is nothing but a simple string message which will automatically disappear whenever user enter a message into the edit text so now we are going to create a user interface similar to this one so start a new project in Android Studio. So when you create a new project in Android Studio, the Android Studio will create the activity main.xml and main activity.java file for you. So the activity main.xml contain a text view that contain a hello world message. Okay. Now look at to the XML version of this activity main.xml file. Here it contains a relative layout as the parent view and a text view. Okay, so in our case, here the two components are horizontally aligned the edit text on the left side and the button on the right side. So we have to align the view components horizontally. So you can align the view components horizontally or vertically using a linear layout. So the first thing we have to change the relative layout into linear layout. So here I am going to change it into linear layout. So now I have to close the linear layout. Okay. Now there is some padding is there. I remove all the padding attributes. No need of these padding attributes. Yeah, now the layout height is much parent. And the layout width is also much parent. Much parent means the height and width are similar to the parent. Okay. And now here we need to align the child components horizontally so you have to add another attribute into the linear layout and do it orientation into horizontal now i remove the default text view first thing we have to add an edit text so here i am going to add an edit text First, you have to specify the width and height. I specify the width as wrap content. Also, height into wrap content. Wrap content means the width and height are proportional to the contents of the edit text. And now we have to provide a hint for the edit text. So, Android hint. Use the attribute hint. Now I am going to refer this hint from the strings resource file. So use the add symbol. Add symbol indicates this attribute, this resource is referred from an external file or it is a reference. So use the add symbol and it is referred from the string. And here I am going to specify an identifier for this. I name it as hint message. Okay. Of course, here you got an error because now this attribute, this identifier is not available on the string resource file. Now you have to enter this attribute, enter this identifier into the strings.xml file. So you can find out the strings.xml file inside the values folder. Expand the values folder and open the strings.xml XML file. And here you have to specify a new string resource. 
and the name is similar much and the name is same as this identifier hint message so specify that one hint message and close this one and specify the message here the hint message is enter a message enter a message okay now look at the design now we got the edit text now we have to add a button so again go to the XML version now we have to add the button so start the button attribute and here also width into wrap content height also wrap content now you have to specify a text the text is sent so android text here also I am going to refer the text from strings resource string and specify the identifier name as button text now you have to enter this one into the strings.xml file so go to the strings.xml file add another string resource the identifier name is button text and close this one and the value is sent okay now look at the GUI now we got the edit text and the button but there is a problem here you can see there is a lot of space to the right side of the button so using the width as wrap content is useful in the case of a button but in the case of a of an edit text that is not suitable because here now the width is aligned proportional to the hint message available on the edit text the user may enter a long message so you have to we have to use the remaining space to the right right side of the button with the edit text so here I am going to make some changes on the edit text first here I am going to change the width into zero density pixel so zero dp now I am going to add another attribute and row it layout weight and specify the value as one now look at the design now you can see now the remaining space is covered with the edit text okay so this is how we create a simple GUI in Android I hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you in the next episode